Greetings, I hello, welcome. Dachse, yes, grand, grand, grand to have you here. So, I think this is your intro. After I've done all the detecting and waffling for the day, but I thought I'll show you uh, what it looks like overhead. That lot is going to dump upon me, I think. More of it's coming that way. Tomorrow has apparently been predicted to be very wet again. Uh, I have uh, jobs to do outdoors. And I'm not getting to them because of the weather. Anyway, I think I'm going to throw together my last two outings. This one. But before we get to this one, I'm going to show you the previous one. Uh, six or so days ago down south there where I like going where I walked my posterior off and I searched for hours on hours and hours and hours and I think I found my first coin more than five hours after starting my search but The wind is roaring, but I just need to show you this. I might have to mic over this. Look at this. The wind, wind sand effect there. And that's where I need to go. The tide is on its way out. I'm not going to do much talking to you today because you can hear. But look here, it's taken, it's opened up a lot here. Now there was a line here the last time I was here, more or less in line with this. There where that gap is, I walked that gap to that side. But I'm going to have fun in that sandblast today. The wind is roaring. That doesn't stop us from detecting, does it? Okay, we will talk again later. Promise. I'm up here in the sand. I've come up here. And uh, I just decided to come up here, basically because I need to sneak into a bush here for a, for a, a break, a comfort break as they call it in the classics. I've walked from down, way down where I was, yeah, the wind is a little bit less here, so if you get it in the air, don't be too, but I came up here and I swung the detector here. I've heard the story about those signals being a gold, potentially, but they typically can slow a uh, small bit of aluminium, but it's here somewhere. There we go. Look at that. I got shocked when I flicked this out. Look at that. I was absolutely, this is a men's band of size. I'll try and see if I can see anything inside there. But that is your typical, this is what happens when they say when you get gold, uh, when you get gold uh, in those ranges. So I don't know if this has been used, but there, no, steel. There's a steel sign in there or a logo in there. There, can you see? Steel. So. It's not gold, it's steel, but it's a men's band nonetheless. I haven't had a ring for quite a while. So there you go. Uh, after finding, I haven't even found a coin. I, I wanted to show you, I'm going to show you this too. Look at the, I've been detecting since about 12 o'clock. Oh, look at that. That's the time I haven't found a single coin yet, but I found this now. Whoopee. And there is our first coin spot, our only coin spot for the day. It is quarter past five. And I have just found it here. And uh, I have walked extensively and checked out the whole place. And that is our first coin. Whoopee! At least it's suspendable and it's not trash trashed 
if I can get it to focus and the color to make nice for us. There we can see it's a 2010, I think those are, that is awesome, I think, I could be wrong, but that's about it then. I think I shall say to you, uh, thanks for watching, as for always, stay safe, stay free, be happy, and I will show you uh, the finds, because I need to show you the finds, because this is fun and games, really. So, let me do you a quick wrap up of that glorious day's detecting. I'll just show you some of the, the muck. There's one good thing amongst you, the India, not amongst you, India. There's one good thing, and I will show it to you. Just let me get the scoop out of the bag to make sure that everything else in the bag is out the bag. Look there. Okay, the bag is broken too. But now look at this for a day's worth of stuff. Oh yeah. I have to show you this. That ran quite interest interestingly. So maybe I did find gold on the day. Isn't there gold in here somewhere? This was the good thing that I mentioned. That's a lead toy aeroplane. But look at all of the muck. The lumps. These tiny things. Okay, that's a broken off. But small things like this. Like that. That iron and the big iron, I didn't even bother to dig. But you'll find these deep, deep signals, and you dig them like that. All the brass, copper, all these extrusions, intrusions, outrusions, a bit of pipe. But all of that to find three targets of wood. There we go. 250. So we got the Euro Millions ticket value. There we go. That's a, definitely a uh, steel ring. So, but I reckon they go for anything from about $35 onwards. So, worthwhile then. So, let's say it went for $37.50 plus $250. That gives us to about €40 Euro for the day. Ha, 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Here we go. And two foreign ones. Not foreign. Not non-Irish Euro coins. There we go. That's it. Look at it. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely. All oh, the this junk. I mean, the more junk and the more junk. But these things, as I keep telling you, Christmas decorations. I think these I must just draw the holes in. And make wind chimes out of them. What do you say? Okay. That's enough of me. As I say in the classics. Don't do what I wouldn't do. And if you can't be good. Go straight up. Bye. It's been some time. Since I've been down here. Uh, there were quite a few more people. When we got here. Now. Directly behind me. Directly. 180 degrees behind me now, the way I'm looking. There's snow on the mountains, and it is mid-April. So, I need to show you something. Uh, been here for about five or six targets. There was one lad with a brand new Equinox 800, and we were chatting for a while. I've dug out a piece of brass out of there. But I need to show you this. I, I definitely need to show you this. This is the holiday spirit. Now watch this go by. I have permission. Look at that. Full coat. Full woolly hat. What wouldn't a, a mammy do for her kids? Look at that. <laughs> yes, I have permission. <laughs> I love that. There you can see the holiday spirit sneaking through for sure. I don't know if you can see that mermaid out there. 
that is the very same mermaid that you saw all kitted out to the yield. Now she's there in the water. I must say she's taken off all those coats and woolly hats and everything else. There we go. Let's see if she'll wave to me. <laughs> there we go. She's waving to us. There's our first bit of bling. We have found three coins today. That, well, I haven't shown you any of them, have I? I've just shown you the, the holiday makers thus far. But there's our first bit of bling. Uh, not too far from the hut. There's the hut. There's the lady now, back uh, out of the water there in the distance. But there we go. There's our bling. Okay. As I say, three coins. Loads of lump, so aluminium. I actually thought this was a bit of likewise. This is obviously the inset to a pendant. There we go. For sure. It's still pretty out there. And if I look south, I see some cloud activities and all sorts of nice and squalls out, and then that's in the direction of my own town. Over here, directly to the east is quite clear, and then to the north, it's clearish. But there you see it. In any case, what I really want to show you, since coming from there in the yonder distance, I have found, since last showing you that bit of bling, I have found just muck, scat, wire, tent peg, very long tent peg. Um, all sorts of other aluminium, the no normal, well, actually aluminium because the pieces have been tiny, some of them. But yeah, in this hole, quite a strong signal in the 40s in that area, but it's here somewhere. So I thought, let me see if I call you in, if you bring me better fortune. There is something and it's a coin. It is a coin. There we go. Brand new. Euro drop. Can you see that? So we three euro thirty here and there. It's another foreign. Yes. Is that España? Yeah, that's España. Uh, it's only it's a twenty something, twenty sixteen by the looks of things. But I mean, it's a fresh drop. This is very fresh. So I'll look around here. So we're definitely over our euro. Uh, Euro millions ticket worth, definitely. More coins today than what I got on the previous outing. So that makes me think I'm going to throw the two outings together and then. So I was wondering what to give you for an addendum. And here I still am up here, up in the sand duny bits, looking, looking, always looking. And right there where the spade is, I stumbled across a construction site. Yeah, yeah, I'm not lying to you. So I thought I'll show you. Look there. There was the, the tipper truck that seems to have lost its tipper. And there was the, the cement mixer, as my good lady and her family call them. Pointers. For some other strange reason, her brother, when he was little, used to call them pointers. So now the grandkids all call them pointers. And they usually almost this color too, but they don't say that. Look there. They don't say T or T spelled badly. They say other things here. So there we go. And that one fell. Oh, but I think I've lost its load body and it's probably plastic. It's in here somewhere. So I'll keep looking around. Maybe I find more construction vehicles here in this construction site. And this is really almost spitting upon me. Well, it's making small speckles upon me. But I can, uh, I can survive them. But it's uh, looking promising for a lot more of the small speckles to turn bigger. Look at those cumulo nimbus ones out there in the yonder distance. Holding big. Maybe we have some thunder and lightning tonight. Would be nice, wouldn't it? So I was going to show you the, the rainbow which is now fading. 
And then I stumbled across a signal and it was iffy and whatever -y and whatever -y. And uh, now you see, can you see the greening there on that bit of, on that bit of sand there? Because I've got our first decimal for the day. There we go. Can you see that? A 1970, is that six or eight? Can you see? 1970 something. I can't see that. Six, I think. 1976 Irish penny. There we go. So we got one decimal too. How's that for a ABFF? F F addendum of the addendum of the addendum. No, that I lie. It's the addendum of the addendum. Hmm. Okay, I'll pipe up and go on. The sun has gone on there to the west, and that squall has gone on there to the east. And I'll show you. The south is now much clearer, and the north semi clear okay that's enough of me i'll be going bye